What's up everybody, Matt Burns here with your September market update. And I hope you enjoyed and relaxed during the long Labor Day weekend, uh, because I know that this is a really busy time for people. Lots going on for everybody. Uh, vacations, unfortunately, coming to an end. Kids are back to school now. More traffic on the streets because of that. Weather's starting to cool off a bit. So I hope you transition nicely back into our regularly scheduled programming. Uh, and for real estate, it's a tremendously important and volatile time for the market and for interest rates. The Fed is closely watching inflation and job growth to determine how quickly they're going to need to adjust its policy and actions. And remember, the Fed's main goal is to engineer a soft landing for the economy, and they're using economic pain i.e. raising interest rates, to fight inflation, which has been rampant this past year. But of course they want to do it with as little pain as possible. So they really have to try and thread the needle or walk that tightrope to get the desired result of cooling off inflation with as little pain as possible for people and businesses. And that's a delicate dance. And I'm not going to politic on this update, but it has the market on the edge of its seat. And so volatility is unprecedented right now. And to be fair, outright volatility in the mortgage rate market was sharper in early 2020 when COVID struck, but that really only lasted two months. And in hindsight, it was kind of expected with all the unknowns of how the virus was gonna affect the nation as a whole. But we are now going on six months of high volatility. And I spoke about the real estate perfect storm in my market update a couple of months ago as to why that is. But have a look at the additional chart that I've added below this video to show you just how volatile a market that we are in now. Uh, but anyways, the Fed announces its next rate hike on September 21st. And yes, we already know there will be a rate hike, but the size of that hike and their assessment of the economy will determine if the current mortgage rate ceiling will just be reinforced or if we're gonna smash through it and start seeing rates climb above six, six and a quarter percent. But for the other factors that play into the real estate market, as you'll see in the other graphs and charts below in this email, inventory is still low across the board for our area year over year. So that has still kept prices relatively flat or slightly up depending on specific location. But if mortgage rates go above the 40 year average of seven to eight percent, you're going to start to see a buyer demand knock on effect that will bring prices down, now, not fall off a cliff, but definitely bring them down. Uh, and that doesn't happen overnight. Right? The real estate market moves slower than the stocks or bonds market, but it will have to happen for the market to find its happy equilibrium. So it's definitely something to keep in mind if you're thinking of pulling the trigger, whether it's buying, selling, or investing over the next couple of years. Uh, but please don't be shy to reach out if you have more specific questions about the market or your own situation. Okay? Now, before I let you guys go, I wanted to plug a charitable 5K run that I have the honor and privilege of supporting, and that's the Tunnel to Towers Foundation. And it's an annual run done on the last Sunday of September through the Battery Tunnel. And last year on the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks, I ran it for the first time. And it was really one of the most moving experiences I've ever had. And it's such a great cause. So at the bottom of this email, before I announce the winner for the $50 gift card to Parkside, which I'm also very excited about, I've included a few details on the run, how you can donate if you choose to do so, or even better, join me in running and supporting our first responders and service men and women and their families. You know, these heroes deserve to know that we will always remember them, take care of their loved ones if they should ever be in a catastrophic, uh, have a catastrophic injury or lose their life in the line of duty protecting us. And so thank you for taking the time to check that out. Um, I'll let you guys go now, but as always, I'm just a call or text or email away if you need anything real estate or unrelated. 
God bless you. God bless the USA. And I'll talk to you guys soon.